So a lot of you might know that I have a new Let's Play on my YouTube channel right now where I'm playing a Sims 4 Legacy Challenge, but I'm playing on short lifespan. And the Legacy Challenge is really simple. You just start on a big empty lot with like no money and then try and play through 10 generations, basically. But because I'm trying to do that on short lifespan, my Sims have been working a lot for a very long time. Because you start out with 1800 simoleons and an empty lot and then slowly try and build up a house. And I've been playing for a while now. We have like nine parts. I'll link the playlist down below if you want to watch it. I've had a lot of fun with this series. But this week my sim got engaged and moved in with her girlfriend and we've got a teenage daughter and honestly miss sim amber has had a rough life <laughs> Her her fiance, her last fiance, he died on their wedding day. It was very tragic. And we finally have a bunch more money because long story short, Santa gave us a $4,000 stove for Christmas. So I sold it and now we have like an extra 7k plus this whole house. And I think that we could try and build something new, like just flat out build an entirely brand new house. Honestly, just bulldoze this one and, and make something. The house doesn't really need to be bulldozed, but like we could get an extra bathroom, we could get maybe some more outdoorsy space. The one issue though, is that my Sims need a lot of um, big ugly skill items, like the rocket ship, uh, we have a microscope, we have this robotics thing. So I think we need an office or something. I don't really know, but I think the goal today is to try and build these Sims a new house, at least to the best of our ability. <laughs> because this one's not that good looking and we deserve something better. There are a few things I wanna keep. Like I think we'd be best suited to save like the TV because then we don't need to rebuy it. But like the rest of this stuff, we don't really need. We can just get rid of it. So I'm gonna save our skill items as well because we do need those. And then honestly, I might just bulldoze the lot. Like I'm not even worried about it. Oh, this is gonna be painful. Okay, we have 24K. Uh, that's a decent amount of money. Okay, we can do this. <laughs> We can build ourselves a house with this. Do you know what's so sad is we live across from the land grab family So we have this little teeny house and the land grabs are over there with this massive house. It makes us look really lame, doesn't it? <laughs> what if we tried to build like a more modern looking home? Is that a mistake? The issue is that we really only have the money for one story And when you look at like reference pictures, obviously I just googled modern house So these aren't that fancy, but when you look at reference pictures a lot of times they're like really fancy like two-story type homes Oh, I wonder if we could build something kind of like this with platforms this might not be so bad you know what I'm gonna get inspired by this image it won't look like this it's just the vibe but we could do something like that yeah 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 it's not a tiny house anymore I know <laughs> we're going all out today folks we need an office these days you know what if we do it bigger like this like longer it'll it'll look better in comparison to the land grabs big house I feel like because theirs is big and wide and ours will be big and wide and then it'll actually like blend in with the neighborhood god the lighting on this lot is terrible for building this is so weird I'm trying to do something interesting but it's not I don't know it's not that bad it is really weird though isn't it does the floor plant does it even like work what do you mean can't intersect with other objects what are you talking about all these windows are gonna be the death of us they're expensive I don't know how we're gonna pull this off. No, you know what? No, this is gonna be cool. Okay? I believe. Am I gonna regret this? There- the other houses have grass. This area has grass. That's just the way it goes. I don't know. <laughs> it's so weird. How- I- mm, we'll figure it out. This is fine. Considering we only have 19,000 simoleons left, uh, I don't think we will figure it out. <laughs> and I have to spend so much of that on half walls. Oh no. Oh, we are doomed. Doomed, I tell you. All right, no, this is fine. I'm being really dramatic. This is fine. All right, we have a dining table, folks. <laughs> oh boy. I think I'm gonna make the house smaller, which we might regret, but hear me out. The theory is that if it's smaller, we can add like a bump out somewhere else, but this is gonna be the living room somehow. Maybe the kitchen. We still have a TV, so that's good. <laughs> we don't need to buy a new one. Um, this could be a fun chance for us to get some more color in the house. Because before it wasn't very colorful, but now... Oh, what if we flipped it? Wait, look. And like, the kitchen was... Can we scoot it over one? I don't know if we have enough money to finish this. I might have to get cheaper kitchen appliances again. I know we finally got like, upgraded appliances before, but we might have to go back. That seems like a very reasonable layout for the living space to me. Okay, the one problem I have is the fact that we don't have an office, <laughs> which is the one thing we needed to, to add. Because, like, you aren't going to catch me putting this in this beautiful corner room. Can we get an office, like, back here? No, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> and then the bathroom is still tiny. And, like, 
We wanted to have a bigger bathroom. Oh, it could be over here. This house is so long. <laughs> Look at it. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's really funny though. No, I think that makes sense. And then I think we should be able to fit like this. <laughs> we can have that. We can have this. There. Now there's actually um, a functional room. We also need to have this thing, but I don't know how- Is it ridiculous to put it there? This is so dumb. Whenever you do challenges like this, you need to just have like a massive skill building room. That's just the way it goes, isn't it? Like if you want to play a, a challenge and you want to play The Sims, everybody needs just a massive room that you can just put all your stuff in. All right, let's get a big window in the bathroom, shall we? I might add an extra bathroom off the back. This will be like the- the parents' room. Ooh, what if it was like that? Wait, that's kind of good. And then there could be like a little patio off the back. We could like fence that in if we wanted to. We need a spot for the rocket ship. I feel ridiculous saying that, but like, hang on everybody, we gotta find a spot to put the rocket ship. <laughs> There. The rocket ship can go right there. No, I honestly, I think that makes sense. Okay. This is a very different looking house than what we had before. No, that makes perfect sense. I kind of want to have like a sliding door. I don't usually build stuff like this. I'm kind of, I'm kind of out of my element here. So I apologize, everybody. It's always bothered me so much how the sliding doors aren't the same height as the big tall windows that we have. Because no matter what, they look out of place. <laughs> how on earth do you make a rocket ship look okay? in a house like this. Oh, the black one looks better. Okay, <laughs> that helps. Wait, all right, problem solved there, I guess. I'm gonna use the medium wall height sliding glass door. I don't even care that it clips a little bit. I like that better. I like it better clipping than it being too short. No, yeah, that is like significantly better that way. All right, I'm gonna leave it like that. We have 6,000 simoleons to furnish the rest of the house. <laughs> oh no. I guess this could always be like a half bathroom. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of ways to save money. Like if this bathroom only had a toilet and a sink. And that's something that we can always upgrade later on. This is a let's play, right? So we can always add to it. It's not like what's done is done. We can always change it up in the future. I just used really expensive doors too. I probably shouldn't have. I can use these seasons ones. They're cheap. I like that flooring a lot. I don't think we're gonna be able to afford to paint the house. We really went a bit overboard, I think, with uh, the decorative stuff here. We can landscape with debug, so that'll be fine. Okay, the daughter likes space. <laughs> Let's just buy all the things that we absolutely need. We're having to go back to the cheapest beds. I'm sorry, I- this doesn't make any sense. I wasted all our money buying things that we didn't need and now we have to downgrade our beds, but that's okay. <laughs> Everything is so expensive in this game. Oh my god. Mom hands has the handiness skill so she can like pay to help us upgrade some of this bathroom stuff. So that'll be nice. <laughs> She'll help us um, upgrade our toilet so it won't break as much. Don't worry everybody. I think I want to change the color scheme a little bit but we mostly just need to work on furnishing the house first and then we can change the color scheme of things. Might get the black desk. Okay we have a desk and that's it. <laughs> We have a desk and we don't have anything else. Who's with me? Yeah, I definitely did too much on the outside. Well, oh, do you know what we could do? We could just like get rid of some of the fencing. That'll save us some money. We could also make the backyard smaller. I didn't want to have to scrounge up money like this, but at this rate, we're going to have to scrounge up money like this. It looks cool though. It's just empty. <laughs> it looks cool. It's just uh, empty and sad. Oh, life was so much better before. We had better beds. My Sims slept better. You go and get one stove from Santa Claus and all of a sudden you think you're rich. <laughs> you're not rich, Kayla. You don't have any money. Your Sims are still very poor. I had no business doing this to myself. All right, look, this bedroom is fully furnished. It's okay. Listen, if we need to have my Sims play a little bit longer and sell some more frogs, we can do that. So don't worry. <laughs> I don't think I like this rug. I think that's part of the problem. I could do the brighter one. Honestly, I like the bright one. It's nice. This is going to be such a drastic change, like for the let's play, because this house is completely different. <laughs> like not even close to how it looked before. Oh no doesn't really fit. This robot stuff, I mean like these hobbies my sims have, very inconvenient to be honest. You guys tried picking something cheaper to be interested in. Okay, I'm painting the whole house white. That was the vibe originally. And then there's gonna be some like gray accents. Look, because this original house, they had like the stripey bits that match the, the black. Okay, so we need to have the overhang be black too. Or even just like a darker gray. And then they had like gray paneling. 
Do you know what? That looks pretty cool. Maybe this part in the front could have the pan. I put it in the wrong place. Why is it so hard to paint these walls? The, the tiny half walls are very hard to get the paint in the right place in my experience. Oh no, these thingies are expensive. Why is everything so expensive? I want the flat one. But look how good it looks with the black. Ooh, no, we have to keep that. All right, we have 1100 simoleons left to, to decorate and paint the rest of the house. <laughs> Honestly, what if we use eco lifestyle windows everywhere? They're way cheaper and they look the same. Who am I kidding? They're like a little bit skinnier, but that's probably a good thing. No, we're gonna save so much money doing this. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking using base game stuff. Here I was acting like, oh, I can make a base game house. No, you can't. Try as you might, Simsy, you can't. Think about the money. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the money. Oh, yeah, it looks good still. It's totally fine this way And we got we got an extra like a couple thousand simoleons by changing the windows So that was worth it Could probably change the door as well the front door. It looks cooler, too <laughs> What if we used it in the back as well? These windows are like black black and the door is gray Do I have to make the windows gray? No, the windows can stay black It doesn't matter if the door doesn't match perfectly. I don't really care. Yeah, we saved so much money that way <laughs> <laughs> that was worth it. Okay, now we paint the entire inside of the house white. I still feel like this rug is too much. I want to like this rug so bad. No, as long as we get enough like accents. I think the room is just very white and black right now. We just need to make sure it's decorated properly. <laughs> and then once there's enough stuff in here, it, it won't look so out of place anymore, I don't think. Do you know what we could have my Sims do really fast? Look. <laughs> come here, come here, come here. Can you um rummage for some winter decorations? Okay. Would you look at that? Couple extra hundred simoleons. Do it again. See, we can just do this until we have enough money to decorate the house. It works. It's totally fine. Nothing wrong with that. Use what you've got, you know? How about one white brick wall? That's nice. I like that. Maybe we could have white brick on the other side too. This painting is perfect. It really ties it all together. <laughs> and we don't have to buy a painting because we have that one for free. Oh god, we have a cat. <laughs> I forgot. Oh no. We have to make sure we get stuff for the cat. Oh god, and like an outdoor trash can. I haven't gotten one of those yet. Where am I gonna put the litter box? <laughs> There's not space for it. No, we don't need a decorative plant. Should we upgrade to a, an automatic litter box? We've had this super cheap one this whole time. If we're trying to upgrade the house, it's the least we can do. Okay, I got a couple colored walls. I think I want to try and put a cat tree somewhere. Maybe we could put a cat tree in the kids' room. Not really sure how the space thing ties into this, but it works. Okay, you know what? I honestly think that we can pull this off. I was worried about money when we first started here, but I'm feeling a lot better. I don't like how the cat trees look. <laughs> how about this one? Oh, that one works. That kind of ties it all together well. Maybe we should leave the room at that for now. I don't know how much decoration is too much, especially considering how little money we have. Maybe we should try to quickly landscape. It's winter time in the game, by the way, so all the plants are gonna look dead. <laughs> Yeah, that's ugly. I don't know how we're gonna landscape this well because we cannot see what we're doing. <laughs> it's almost Amber's birthday. Oh my God. What if I cheated to make it summertime just so we can like landscape and then I put it back? Is that bad? I don't know if you noticed, but this house is definitely way out of my comfort zone. So it's kind of fun to build. The reference picture kind of has plants like this. Do you know what I'm talking about? Look, <laughs> they have them. Why can I do that too? I think it looks kind of cool. I forgot about a chess table. Oh no. <laughs> we have some Money left over. We can put it on the patio, so that'll be okay. What are our thoughts on this? I'm I'm considering only having this stuff as the landscaping. Like, I might just genuinely leave it like this. We'll definitely come back and like add stuff over time, but I sort of like how simple it is. Yeah, I think it looks really nice from the front. <laughs> the rocket ship poking through, thermostat, fire alarm. Yeah, I don't think we need anything else. I mean, obviously the chess table and honestly, whatever other like decorative stuff we can scrounge together, but the patio looks so sad. <laughs> Maybe we could, oh, ah, that's expensive. 325? 325? That was more expensive. Oh no. I just want to get a bush. <laughs> Why is that too much to ask? Yeah, I'm really not sure that's worth the money, but like, I don't know. I'm just trying to upgrade the patio because there's nothing on it. <laughs> Does this come in brown? What if we put that under it for free and pretended it was dirt? Okay. Do you know what? That actually looks really nice. This is a nice patio. Eventually we'll get a little pool. I don't like this big long wall, but you know, what are you gonna do? <laughs> My Sims new fiance has the painting skill, but I'm not sure if it's worth like putting an easel down because the easel's kind of expensive. I'm wondering if we just got a big outdoor table because like this outdoor table is cheap and we can get chairs around it. So that like just puts more furniture on the patio. What can one do with 200 simoleons? We don't have a gate to get out of the backyard. Is that necessary? Oh, what if this was just open? 
Like, what if you could just step down from there? I only have three simoleons left. <laughs> oh no. Watch, the bills are gonna come. My sims are gonna have bills to pay the second I load back in. I don't know what day it is in my sims game, but it's, it can't be good. I was trying to find some rocks to like fill up this weird little area, but what if we use, no, that's weird. Forget it, I have decided to cheat for rock money. I don't even care, okay? I don't care. I'm cheating for my rocks. I can't find anything that I wanna use in debug. And this probably isn't allowed, but listen, I cheated to move my sim in. <laughs> my fiance moved in, but I just like shift clicked, added her to the household. And if I had moved her in the proper way, I would have gotten a lot of money for free. But I was like, no, I don't want free money. So I'm not going to move her in the proper way. Um, so this is what I get instead. I get rocks. Because I am a good person and I didn't cheat, I'm allowed to have rocks. Because I'm a good person who didn't cheat in The Sims, I'm allowed to cheat in The Sims is what I just said. It's not that many rocks that I need. I just have this- this just this weird, like, thing. I don't understand why it's like this. I'm just trying to solve this grassy problem, you know? And I don't feel bad about that. There. Rocks complete. Honestly, the house looks really good. Alright, I had three simoleons, right? I'll put it back. <laughs> Oh, nice. I'm really pleased with this. I can't wait to have a pool. We just don't really have the money for that. Oh, it's also, I cheated to make it summertime. So let's, seasons cheats, change season back to winter. Yeah. Oh, it looks much worse in the winter time. Also, it looks much worse at nighttime. All right, let me save my game. How much is the house worth? 37K, that's not so bad. It looks good too. I feel like we blend in the neighborhood a lot more. Like we match the land grabs, which is good. We don't look like the, the losers with the tiny house. <laughs> Our house is still tiny, but it's not like, you know, as tiny. Okay, I think on that note, the build is done. It'll be on the gallery if you want to download it. And if you want to watch my Let's Play, <laughs> my Sims Let's Play, where I'm playing with these Sims and playing in this house, I will link that playlist down below. Like I said, I'm gonna quickly rummage for some decorations. I'm sorry, I need the money. I also, can you guys breed frogs again yet? No. Anyway, feel free to watch my Let's Play. <laughs> no, I have 85 simoleons. That's really good. Well, okay. Can I have a different mailbox? What kind of mailbox? Yeah, they've got a cooler mailbox. Why do I have this one? I want to use this mailbox. Yeah, now I match the land grabs. In fact, my yard is nice and green and theirs is not. Okay, like I said, playlist link down below. I'll see you all tomorrow. <laughs> Bye everybody. I've been playing with this let's play, like in this save for hours today because I recorded two videos about it. It was worth it. I love these Sims.